Hi everyone, I'm Tina Swithin, author of Divorcing a Narcissist and founder of One Mom's Battle. If you have followed my work over the years, um, you are, or any of our work, um, anyone who works in the realm of narcissists, sociopaths, borderlines, um, you're probably very familiar with Grey Rock Communication. Um, Grey Rock, I first read about years ago, and the, um, the premise of it is that you are so boring that you are like a gray rock. So the high conflict person loses their interest in you as their feed supply. So they start going elsewhere looking for their narcissistic feed. Um, and that's a great method of communication if you are dealing with one of these people. Um, the problem is, if you are in the family court system, Grey Rock can really come back to haunt you. Um, it actually, um, it makes you look rigid and uncompromising and bitter and jaded in the eyes of the judge. And so that's not a good way to go. So in my own case, um, I call it yellow rock communication. So it's gray rock with a little touch of yellow, little touch of happiness or friendliness or common courtesy or, um, you know, I, I always say, think of it as you're emailing your boss. Um, hopefully your boss is not a sociopath, but um, when you are communicating with the other party, and I do have a whole other YouTube video just uh, diving into gray rock communication and how important it is, um, but when we are figuring out um, styles of communication with these people, the main issue is that it's important to remember it doesn't matter who is on the other side of that email, who's actually receiving it. What matters is the judge or um, whoever is making the decision that affects your case or your children. And so we developed something called canned responses at One Mom's Battle. And um, we've pulled together a list of 50 different canned responses that you can keep handy um, to help you um, shut down the high conflict nature of your case. Um, you want to consult with your attorney before you implement any new strategy or communication style because ultimately they are your voice and your advocate in the courtroom. Um, but I'm going to read a couple of these and then I'm going to tell you how you can get it. Um, my favorite of all time, your attempt to portray me in a negative light is noted. Um, I look forward to getting to a place in our co-parenting relationship where we can negotiate things like this. For the time being, I intend to follow the court order as it's written by Judge Perry. I do not feel these misrepre misrepresentations warrant a response, and I see no purpose to this email other than to increase conflict. As such, I am noting my objection and your attempts to portray me in a negative light. Um, another one is your recollection of events differs greatly from mine. And the final one I'm going to read, your attempt to elicit a negative response from me has been noted. So, you know, are these appropriate to use at all times? No, you know, the, the general basis of um, communicating in a custody battle is that you need to present yourself as the healthy, non-conflict person. But there are going to be times where you're completely under attack and you are needing something to, you know, you don't want to leave something unanswered because then it could be perceived as you are guilty of doing whatever you're accused of because you didn't respond to it. So that can be a tricky situation. Um, but some of these are a great way to not engage, but to shut down the conflict um, in a polite way. Um, and then I always follow it up with something like, hey, have a great weekend. <laughs> and, and that may not be for everyone. Um, in my case, it helped me tremendously and I was being authentic and true to who I am as a person because that is the type of response I would normally send. Um, 
If you are interested in downloading your own version of our canned responses, you can go to One Mom's Battle on Instagram and in the bio, click the little link in the bio and um, then it'll say canned responses and you can go ahead and download that. And um, I hope you make great use of them. As I said earlier, make sure you consult with an attorney before you implement any new communication strategies. Um, and equally important, make sure you subscribe to our um, YouTube. I'm drawing a blank. Um, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the tips and the things that we share to help you in your co-parenting, communication, and relationship. Have a great day, everyone.